what is up guys today is Wednesday March 9th and it's actually National Register Dietitian Day so and uh, it's actually National Nutrition Month so we celebrate all month and in true goober fashion I'm a goober. I haven't said that word in a while. I've got my National Nutrition Month t-shirt on. Savor the flavor of eating right. Um, I'm in my car right now. I'm at work. It's like 75 degrees in Syracuse today. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to go for a quick walk on my lunch break. And I just didn't want to vlog outside because I didn't want my like boss to walk by me. And I'm outside with a camera at a hospital. doesn't really seem appropriate. So I just want to hop in my car quick and vlog for a minute for you guys. Um, I'm currently four and a half weeks out. Um, we've made some changes to my plans this week in terms of upping my cardio. Um, I still have a lot of shredding to do. I'm going to be honest, guys. I've definitely got a long ways to go still, but I'm still keeping my mindset right and staying focused. So I don't have a long lunch break, so I don't want to gab too long right now. But just wanted to let you know I'm making the most of this beautiful weather, sunshine in Syracuse. So I'm going to go out, get a nice little walk in, get a little extra cardio in. Um, for me, it helps de-stress. I struggle the most in the afternoon at work with my motivation level. So um, for me to go out and take a break, get away from work, um, get some fresh air and just kind of like think a little be in my own head is really good for me to kind of refocus And I can lose focus and I do in the middle of the day So this is perfect for me with perfect weather. I'm gonna head out and get a quick walk in and See you guys in the next clip, I guess Flex first thing in the morning um, Hey guys, it's Thursday now. I didn't film anything else yesterday because I didn't really have anything to film for you. Um, I just ran last night to get my cardio in. I ran outside and took advantage of the nice weather. Um, felt really good. Ran with my sister and then came home and hung out and just went to bed early for once because I have not been getting enough sleep throughout this prep. I really, really haven't. Um, just too much to do, too much stuff going on. So I've got to kind of be better about getting my sleep on point. Um, I normally don't come home after the gym. I usually go straight to work, but this morning um, I did shoulders and I decided to come home. So I thought I would just vlog real quick. And I wanted to say I had such an amazing time at the Arnold. Like I can't even put it into words. I really can't. I'm just like in awe of it. It was just such an incredible experience. I went last year, but this year was so different for me. Um, my channel has grown quite a bit. Well, it's grown quite a bit for me in the past year, thanks to you guys. And it was funny though, I was still kind of like going to the expo. I mean, I wasn't going to the expo to do a meet and greet. I was going to the expo to promote Tiger Fitness and MTS. Um, so I was like, well, I wonder if people are going to like recognize me or if anyone really is going to come see me or not. You know, I didn't know you like that. I don't know if other YouTubers feel that way, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know if anyone's going to really come see me. And I was just overwhelmed with the amount of people that came to see me. Like I'm thinking maybe like five or six people would recognize me or say something, but I was just, I mean, I could cry. Like it was just so incredible. Um, I kept saying to Jason, I'm like, are you seeing this? Like, can you believe all the, you know, like the moment I got there, like someone said something to me and it was just, it was just really nice. And, and when I say that, I don't mean it was nice because I'm like, oh, I'm getting recognized. I'm so popular and amazing. No, what was so incredible about it is what people said to me. It wasn't just like, oh, hi, um, I really like your body. Like you have a slamming body. Can I get a picture with your butt? It was more like, People gave me feedback on what they loved about the channel. Um, people told me I've inspired them to do their first bikini competition and that watching my videos help them get through their first prep or other preps. Um, had a lot of feedback that people really enjoy the dietitian talks. And that means the world to me because that is my passion, is helping to educate people, helping to sort out all that misinformation that's out there because there is so much of it. I apologize, I know my glasses have a glare. Um, and just helping people to better understand nutrition in their own bodies. 
because there's just so much bad information out there, so much bad information. Um, and I really enjoyed doing those dietitian talks and it meant a lot. The people said they enjoy those. Um, people said they're enjoying the shorter videos with just like the quick question and answer. So I'm gonna keep doing those. And it was just so incredible to have people like excited to see me. And it was just great. It really, really pumped me up for my channel. Um, I really want to keep building this thing, you guys. I really envision reaching my dreams, and my dreams are to continue to help people. That's why I got into this field, is to help people, and to, that's what makes me feel rewarded at the end of the day. And if I can somehow do this full time to help people, not necessarily just YouTube, but just if I can somehow have this be my career. That is my ultimate goal. It really is. And I can see it more clearly now than ever. I didn't feel that way when I first started this channel. It was just like hobby, fun kind of thing. And now it's just like after this weekend, I'm seeing the Tiger Fitness Company and how happy and passionate they are. I don't know. I just, I, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to keep working on it to make it happen. But thank you for all of you guys that stopped by, said something to me, said you like the videos, the cooking recipes, dietitian talks. It really meant a lot to me that you guys took the time to stop by and say hi and give me that feedback. Really, I cannot thank you enough. It gives me cold chills. Like honestly, that weekend and you guys doing that is going to help me murder the rest of my prep. Like, I felt like I was doing good with prep. I mean, I feel like I got a long ways to go in four weeks, but my motivation is like no other right now. I am just beyond fired up, ready to go. I feel like, I don't know. I'm not good with the words, you guys. I probably shouldn't be on YouTube. I'm not good with the words. Um, but just thank you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say in a five minute spiel. Thank you so, so much meant the world to me and I really just I love y'all thank you someone's acting up in here you can't be on video when you're acting up Winston hey people asked for you at the Arnold they're like where's Winston at hey guys so I just got done work and I'm now sitting in the parking lot at the gym it's 5 40 so I worked a full day and my gym actually closes at 7, so I have to hurry up and get in there and um, do my cardio because I lifted shoulders, like I mentioned before this morning. It's nasty out here. It's just like rainy and disgusting. And I got rained on today on my lunch break, so I look like a ball sack right now. It doesn't look cute, but that's okay. I don't really put in too much effort in how I look at work, but um, I did go on my lunch break to Sephora real quick because Shredded Jesus broke my favorite lotion. Not only did he break my favorite lotion, I'm gonna make him feel bad when he sees that. You guys knew, know I use this Shiseido, is that how you say it? Shiseido? White Lucent Brightening Protective Emulsion Moisturizer. This stuff is incredible, I swear by it. And um, I had just bought a brand new one and brought it with us to Ohio to the Arnold. And I kind of had it like at the edge of the counter. And he had it and dropped it. But of course it's my fault. It's my fault that I had it at the edge of the counter. Um, so I had to go buy another one because I'm telling you this weather, even though it hasn't been super cold this winter, my skin is like so dry and just like, I think it's because I haven't had a chemical peel in a while, but it's not not great so I bought my moisturizer I also indulged in I was watching um well I wasn't watching I was listening to Jason kind of got me hooked on listening to YouTube videos as I drive to work in the mornings you guys know I kind of drive a lot so um I was listening to Marissa Lace you guys probably already subscribed to her and she's so funny I like listening to her on the way to work um but she was using one of these Bosha is that how you say it Bosha masks um, this is a black, luminizing black mask. It's a peel off mask. I believe this is the actual one she was wearing in the video. And it looked really cool. So I wanted to try this out. I like face masks. So I'm going to give that a whirl tonight. And the other thing I picked up, which was a freaking chunk of change, let me tell you. But this is when you know you're in your 30s, folks. For all you 20 year olds out there, 
you're in your 30s, you start dropping some freaking hot money on some skincare. Um, I got the Shiseido. This is, again, one of their, like, brightening um, face masks. Not a face mask. It's their nighttime cream. And what does it say? It helps um, to reduce appearance of dark spots, dullness, acne scars, and uneven skin tone. Which basically sums up my nasty skin in a nutshell. So, um, I'm going to give this a try. I normally just use my regular moisturizer at night. But I figure I should probably try to use a night cream. So, we'll give that a whirl. A whirl. And I think that's it. It was a busy day at work. But I've been so busy at work, I actually haven't really had a chance to feel hungry. Even though I've been doing lower carbs, so that's kind of good. And now I'm going to head in the gym and get in my cardio and probably some... Alright guys, so I also wanted to show you a package I got in the mail. And I was so pissed, as I kind of mentioned I think in my Arnold vlog. But the day um, Jason and I were leaving to go to the Arnold... I got a little sticky thing saying I had a package that I had to pick up at the post office and we were leaving for the Arnold so I couldn't pick it up or get it till I got back home. So anyways, I got back home and I got a package from Pump Chasers from Chris Jones. He sent me some of the new items from the women's line. So I was pretty stoked but I was pissed because I would have brought them with me. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. I already looked at it because I couldn't wait. Sorry. I couldn't wait for the reveal. I needed to know. Um, but I didn't open it up, so you should feel special. We're opening up it up together for the first time. And I apologize. A little spoiler alert from here on out. I am always going to be like looking like a scumbag in my videos because I work out in the morning and I work out at night and I work during the day. So the only time you guys are going to get a video from me is post workout. Looking like shit. So, take it or leave it, folks. All right, so I love that Chris came out with a bunch of like black and gold stuff. So this is the black and it's got the gold pump emblem on it. And these tank tops are nice because they're, um, what material? I don't freaking know. Polyester and spandex. So those are nice because you're not like sitting there soaking wet and I sweat like a mother when I work out. So. It's the black and gold top. It's very like silky and nice. Um, I'm going to show you strategically in order here. Okay. And everything he sent me, I believe, is a size small. Which is good because, you know, I'm in prep, so my weight changes, and I would rather buy cl or have clothes that like will fit me all the time versus like buying stuff like super teeny just for like when I'm in prep mode because then you feel bad about yourself and you're not at stage weight. So these, I love. These match that tank. It's got the gold pump chaser on the top there. And then, probably can't see it from the front. It's got the little pump logo as well on the leg. It's just a nice black pant, really nice. Um, material and I mentioned this I think before with my other pump chaser video these pants are nice they're not um, see-through or anything like that like you won't be able to see through those if you're like squatting or deadlifting it's like really nice thick material so I like those those are super cute I do like black and gold and yes I'm wearing those right now post gym how to get out of my sweaty clothes there's that outfit, and that is super excited about this one. I hope you can tell me the fun part. This I know is cute because Alyssa Palisano had it. She was wrapping pump chasers at the Tiger Fitness booth. It's just one of those like super cute little half croppy sweatshirts that are super fun. I have one like this, not this short though, so that's kind of different. I don't really have anything like that. So, very cute, I like the material on it. So I'll probably wear that, that full ensemble to the gym tomorrow. And we'll film a video so you can see it on me. I'm just too tired tonight, guys. I wanted to like try everything on for you and like pose and stuff. I'm so tired from like working out, working, working out. Now it's like what seven o'clock at night, and I'm, I'm day started at what four a.m. Day starts at four a.m. for me. At technically three fifty-seven, my alarm. Run down to your day. Go. 
So they kind of probably have seen it through this vlog, but this is what my work week looks like. 4 a.m. alarm goes off. 4 a.m. alarm goes off. I drag my ass out into the living room and try to get myself awake and alert. I have my bags packed from the night before. I have to get my food out of the fridge, so I get like, I get my morning bag to shower at the gym. I get my night bag to work out at night with different clothes, and then I get my food bag, and I get my purse. So I got bags all over me, drive to the gym, I work out for an hour, typically lift in the morning, get ready at the gym, head to work, work a full day, eight hours, sometimes a little bit more, just depends. And then after that, I head back to the gym, get in my cardio, usually there for about an hour or so, and then head home, and then there's usually errands in between, like tonight I had to stop at the drugstore. So that's typically my, my weeknights in prep, working full time. I'm like, I don't know how people have kids. I don't know how y'all do this, because I barely see my dog, and that makes me sad, you know? Anyways, did I miss anything? I think that's it. No? So this is a cute, this one's a different um, logo on it. It's got the big pump chasers on it in pink and white, and it's so cute, but I suck at white, you guys. I'm the biggest slob you'll ever meet, and I don't do good at keeping white things white. Like, even if I bleach it, like, this will never stay this white. I'm so scared I'm gonna ruin it, but it's cute. It looks really cute. It is cute, and it'll go great. These pants are super fun. I think he calls them the bubblegum pants. Um, Take Care Less, is that the YouTube, the girl he sponsors? Um, I was watching her video, she did like a little photo shoot in them. And I was like, ooh, I like these pants, they're fun. I'm pretty sure she said they're called bubblegum, but I don't know if that's the name on them or not, or if she made it up. And these are fun because I like the fun bright colors. And then also on the side, has got that like fun little mesh. Can't really tell putting my hand in there, but it's got like the mesh stripe down the side, which is nice. So those are very cute too. Again, size small. And last, he freaking hooks me up. Hook me up. Gotta get down there to Texas. I'm gonna go down there and visit some YouTubers. I wanna go eat some sushi with him and Denise. You guys have not checked out like their sushi pictures that he posts on Instagram. Holy shit. 30 rolls minimum. <laughs> 30 rolls min. And then these are the hot pink pump chasers right across the top there. And they also have that. I like I just really like that, the little mesh on the side. Just adds a little something sun. So I am pretty much hooked up with workout clothes. For the rest of the week which is nice because actually in prep you go through workout clothes like we would not believe because you have to pack two I wear two outfits a day and they get soaked because I sweat a lot and can't rewear those so these are very much appreciated you guys should check out the pump chasers clothing line for the females and if any guys are watching this video I really like their guys stuff too gotta get Jason some of the guys stuff Chris had a pretty sharp pump chaser shirt on at the expo, and they came out with jogger pants too, which I love jogger pants. So be sure to check them out. Chris or Denise, if you're watching this, thank you so much for sending me the goods. And I think this is going to end this random work week vlog for everyone. It's Friday night. I'm in my cozy clothes, and I'm about to lay down and pass the fuck out. So if you guys liked this video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. Subscribe if you don't already and share this lovely video with others. Keep checking back for more. What's up guys? It's Kara here with Dreaded Jesus. It's Friday night and I had wanted to, I had been saving this bar right here. This is Robert Irving, Irvin's? Irving's? I don't know. Robert someone. His birthday cake bar that they just came out with. They make the Fit Crunch bars. Um, my sister actually specifically asked me to hunt one of these down. Well, and actually, did you just fart on camera? A little <laughs> bit. Are you serious right now? A little bit. Cutting that out? <laughs> no one wants to hear that. Um, actually, one of my it's subscribers, <laughs> he's not even in here. One of my subscribers um, got this for me and brought it to me. And I 
can't remember her Instagram name at the top, off the top of my head, but you know who you are and thank you for that. But my sister's missing out tonight and Jason and I are gonna sample this. And then I also got in the mail today from Eat Me Guilt Free. This it focuses. It's because it's focusing on my head, in your head. Just save it. There it is, Eat Me Guilt Free birthday cake bar. Birthday cake protein bar. And these are low carb, gluten free. So we're gonna try that as well and we can compare and contrast. This got a little smushed from the plane I'm ride. Trip home. No, we're gonna try this one first. Okay. Don't be biting into it. I get to open things. Do you? I do. This is. This, this is cold still. Those have to be refrigerated, that's why. So the um, Robert Irvin's. Birthday cake bar has a total of five grams of fat, 24 carbs, 15 fiber, and 20 grams of protein. Those are some damn good macros. Pretty good macros. Way better than the Fit Crunch bars. Those are like 20 grams of fat. Those are so good though, but the sugar alcohol is so high in them, it eps up my stomach. This looks like the size of a Quest bar. And as I said, because it Ooh, got- there's sprinkles in it? There is. It's not as aesthetic as it probably Normally it would be. Would be had I not have like smushed it. I think it's still focusing on our heads, but. That's all right. They don't whatever. need to see it. You guys it. get the point. They want to see it. Sprinkles are, are life. So we have to eat the sprinkled, the heavy So part. how big of a piece do you want? That's good. It smells like vanilla. They're chewy. I feel like it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Like I get a light taste of vanilla, but it doesn't have like a strong flavor. I, I don't mind, I like the consistency. I actually kind of like the chewiness too. It's kind of like. It is a very light flavor. It's like a light vanilla. And you do get a little crunch from the sprinkles. I think I'm a little disappointed. I like, I need things sweet. Like sweet, sweet. It's not as sweet as a Quest bar. If you're into super sweet stuff. I was gonna look at what the sweetener was in this. Sugar. Super low. There's a little, yeah, there's just not as much. The last ingredients are the sugar and the sucralose, so it's just not as much of a sweet, sweet bar. I'm not mad at it. I, I ain't hating. I wouldn't go probably seek it out and buy it, I'm going to be honest. I'd probably stick with a plastic if you're If you like the Fit Crunch bars and you're expecting like a candy bar type sweet, bar like that it's not gonna be like that i thought like based on the pictures on instagram it kind of looked more cakey mm -hmm. like i was expecting it to have more of like a cake consistency not um this, not is, this is more of like a quest bar consistency just without the know. chunks it's, it seemed like it was stickier oh it is a little like, like Actually, almost yeah, like more like taffy it's more like a taffy so now we're gonna try the eat me guilt-free birthday cake one this one is a little more cakey this one in the whole bar is five grams of fat, 10 carbs, and 22 protein. Macros Those are some on point. There's some damn good macros in macros that too. Macros on point, eat me guilt free. Um, there is a little, there's always a little tear to open it. The trick is fine. Oh, is there? Yeah. I was just gonna bite into it. I know you were, I saw you about to gnaw into it. Jason can't smell, so he can't do the smell test like me. You can get your sniffer out of here. Um, don't be blowing boogers in it. I can't get a good whiff. I'm trying. It's so cute though. It's like thick. Move my head. Move your head. Move your head. Your head's still in there. Is that? <laughs> Let's see. People are like, what the fuck? It won't focus. No, they understand. They vlog as well. 
They know the struggles. F it. It looks like a square piece of cake. It does. You mean just bite into it? Or... Yeah, it's bite into it. And it looks like there's sprinkles in there. It came out of the fridge, just so you know. You gotta show respect. You're talking with your mouth full. I'm chewing with my mouth full. Or open. It's definitely more of like a cakey mm -hmm. consistency. Like if you want something like birthday cake. You can keep talking. I'm waiting for the focus. Boom! It just happened. <laughs> um, that's going to give you more of that birthday cake consistency. Ooh, I can show them in like 3D. You got to keep talking though. Or I they're just going to be um, bored as fuck. I like the, in Eat Me Guilt Free, I do like that they always add really good ingredients. They keep it pretty natural. Um, again, this isn't heavily sweetened. Um, stevia, they use stevia as a sweetener. So for all you uh, artificial sweetener haters out there, you may like this version better because it's just made with stevia. Um, so it's not super sweet, three grams of sugar. I like it. I just wish we would have warmed it up in the microwave first. Yeah, we we took it right out of the fridge. They have to be stored in the fridge, but that would probably taste better if it was sitting. So it was just, that just made it a little weird, a little like bit. a cold cake. Yeah, it was a good. Cake, so well, it needed to be put in the microwave first. And that's it, right? That's it. Did you prefer one over the other? The eat me guilt, uh, eat me guilt free. The fit crunch bar was. Light flavored, and it was just too much chewing not for this crunch. guy. I know. It's not Fit Crunch, it's called Fit, fit Elite. Elite. Too much chewing for me. Whey protein baked bar. I think I still prefer, oh yeah, birthday cake bars. I'm not a fan the of those best. either, though. I am. I'm still a Quest guy. Those are hands down, I think, the best birthday cake bar I've tasted, but um, those were fun to try, so. Comment below if you guys have a favorite birthday cake bar. That's about it, I think. <laughs> That's it. That's all the treats we got. That's it.